My name is Peter Finelli. I am running for Village of Larchmont trustee. I've been a trustee in the village now for three terms, and this will be my fourth term. My family came to Larchmont in 1923, and I am a proud graduate from Chatsworth, Homics, and Mamaroneck High School, class of 1977. Um, I picked up my nickname, Bubba, in high school, for those of you that are curious. And uh, it's stuck with me ever since. So a lot of people, even though my real name is Peter Finelli, they call me Bubba Finelli, which is wonderful. I have a BFA from SUNY Purchase in Theatrical Lighting Design and Stage Technology. And I'm the proud owner of United Stage Associates, which is a full-service production company that specializes in corporate events for Fortune 500 companies. I'm married to the love of my life, Teresa Finelli, and we have three wonderful children, Michelle, 26, Peter, 24, and Gianna, 20. My platform has always been, since 2012, let's keep Larchmont, Larchmont. I love this village and will continue to protect it as best I can. Things that we've accomplished since I've been on board as a trustee since 2012 are the Palmer Avenue streetscape, which is new sidewalks, benches, and lighting. And speaking of lighting, uh, it was a big deal about the street lights to make sure that they were not a different, so we got them at 3,000 Calvins instead of 4,600 Calvins, which I think makes Palmer Avenue look a little more romantic. I know there's not a lot of romance in, in streetlights, but for me it was a big deal. We fought it with the architect and we won. So I was very proud of that. Uh, Rescue One, which is a fire apparatus for filling up air bottles, lighting, lighting fire scenes, and a communication vehicle for the volunteers, as well as any of the paid guys or uh, any other firefighters on site uh, as a place to go to get refreshed and uh, refueled. Uh, we spent a lot of time on that between the paid, the paid firefighters and the volunteers and a committee was formed and we have a beautiful truck that which should last us the next 20-25 years. Very proud of that. That took a long time and a really great joint effort on that. As a commissioner of the fire department, we've run into a little bit of resistance with locals, meaning the village residents, in terms of trying to gather up more volunteers to increase the firefighting force of volunteers. And it's been a challenging, and I'm asking any of you that are interested in becoming a volunteer firefighter to get involved. The volunteers that we have today are loyal, trustworthy, caring, and well-trained. Both the paid firefighters and the volunteers take the firefighter duties very seriously. The fire chief is adamant on proper training for the entire department, and the Firefighting Academy in Valhalla is the best training center in Westchester County. This is where we all go for training. Myself and my wife, Teresa, have been certified BFO firefighters this winter, uh, as a, which is only exterior only, up in Valhalla. I felt that it was important as the fire commissioner to kind of see what the firefighters are going through with training and readiness. So we did it. Uh, we passed the course. It's an intense program, but very rewarding and highly recommended. And if myself and my wife can do it, uh, any couple or any individual could certainly do it as well because it's a great program and a great thing to be a part of. And they have really wonderful teachers up there for training. Some of the other items that we've been working on are the water tanks. We've taken two old water tanks and made it one new state-of-the-art tank, which is a 650,000 gallon tank. That's 150,000 gallons more water than we had in a village with the two tanks. And on top of that, it came in under budget by about $15,000. Leak detection. It's a big issue, it's a big expense, and it's something that the village works very hard at to try and get a handle on. We spend lots of money on water waste, on water leaks. Hundreds of thousands of gallons are displaced by old water systems and old water pipes. It's a big problem, and it's an ongoing situation that is being dealt with by the village, the administrator, the DPW, and the water department. We're always interested in fixing the infrastructure. We have 23.5 miles of sewer pipe. That's a lot of sewer pipe for a, a village one mile by one mile. We also have 25 miles of water pipe, fresh water. So the administrator, the board, they've been working very closely trying to get a handle on leaks, detection. New York leak detectors spent, found 100,000 gallons of leaks in the two weeks that they were here which is huge if you think about that. So that we're being proactive on the leaks. So 
that's a big issue for us. Roads, sidewalks, curbing. This is something that is ongoing and the board is extremely concerned about and is a very touchy situation. And I know a lot of the board members are deeply involved with that. I'm looking at my associate here. And uh, we take it very seriously because that's sort of the, the charm of the village. But Con Edison, we have a plan in place. Con Edison is doing a lot of infrastructure work in the village right now. So what will happen is Con Edison will come in, dig a hole, fix the problem, cover the hole. Ideally, we want Con Edison to pay for all of the paving. A lot of times they'll pay for half the paving, and we'll pay for a little bit of the paving. Sometimes they'll pay for the whole paving. And other times, we're just going to fix the road straight up. In our budget for, for paving streets, we are, we are approximately doing three quarters of a mile per year. That's what we have allocated in funds. Additionally, in the past few years, I'm going to change my tune, parks are a big subject, big topic for this board. We're renovating and working on all of the parks. There's a big movement to get things, these aging parks up and running, from Flint Park, Constitution Park, Turtle Park, Playhouse Park, Addison Street Park, and Pine Brook Park. If you haven't been in any of these parks, go in, leave the phone off, grab a book, just listen to the birds, and check it out, because a lot of time, energy, and money is being spent to make these parks beautiful for the residents, the seniors, and the children. In fact, Addison Street Park is going to be fixed up by the Girl Scouts coming this spring, which the board is extremely excited about, and we're, we're excited to see them, their finished product. They've got some great ideas, and we're encouraging that all the way. Taxes are a huge issue in the village of Larchmont. We've got a great team working hard day in and day out to keep the taxes down. From the treasurer, Dennis Bruciani, to the village administrator, Justin Dettino, to a volunteer finance committee of incredible volunteers that work hard, day in and day out for every nickel. And they, want, they have a lot of good questions they ask, and they want to know where the money is going. And they get the answers. And what's nice about it is that the volunteers are working with the, the paid team. So it's a good mix of those concerned citizens and those that have the answers because that's what they do. They monitor the books. Here's the budget breakdown. So the budget for this year is $18,950,000. Of that, 84.5% of that money is already spent on the big three, which is the fire, police, and the DPW, which leaves us about 14% to spend on other, other items, such as things that we want to do, infrastructure, parades, concerts, social events, recreation events, and just general things that might pop up when we need a few bucks. We monitor the books extremely closely. The team here does a great job really accounting for every penny, and we waste none of the taxpayers' money. Albany raises benefits, pension, welfare, retirement constantly, so we have no choice but to raise the taxes. We fight to keep them as low as we can, but some of the stuff that's coming down the line is stipulated from Albany, and we really can't fight that. These are the laws. I'm not going to talk about the schools, the flex zones, overcrowding. That'll be saved for the debate. But what I will talk about in closing is that we have a lot of things still to accomplish. We're buying a new fire truck this year. We want to make sure that it's fitted for the community, it is the latest in technology, and has everything that we want. We've got some parking issues that's being discussed by the board, both in the lots and on the street. Sanitary sewers, big issue, a hotbed. A lot of activity there. Demolitions of homes. That's something that really needs to be discussed at debate. Not that many homes have been demolished. As of today, in the last two years, it's been six homes. One was a fire, and five of them remodeled. Some of the other issues we have in town are the police garage, which is an ongoing saga for the police. They really want this garage because the one that's in the back is falling down. We agree with them, and it needs to be looked at and addressed. Some of the things I do as a trustee, my responsibilities are, I'm the fire commissioner in the village. I'm also on the Coastal Zone Management Commission. I'm the Arts Council Liaison. I'm with the Chamber of Commerce, Pine Brook Neighborhood Association, the Ambulance District. I'm also an active member of the Larchmont Fire Department as a firefighter. I do one other thing outside this, which is the midnight run for St. Augustine's Church, where we go out and we hand out food and clothing to the homeless in New York City. 
that gives me great pleasure, and I truly enjoy that. I want to thank you for your time, LMC TV. Thank you again. I want to thank, even though the storm will be long gone by the time this is aired, but the DPW, the Larchmont Fire Department, the Larchmont Fire Department volunteers, and the police for doing a great job keeping our community safe during these two nor'easters that just hit. They worked hard. The due diligence was incredible. We have, as of today, 19 people without electricity, and that's amazing considering it was 1,000 people just a few days ago. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your hard work. Let's get out and vote on March 20th. Remember, row away all the way, and uh, let's have fun. This is a great job. I do it for the pride of the village, for the love of the village, and for the respect of the residents. Thank you.